Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick and sometimes you hear some things that you cannot believe because you've never seen them before. One of them is, is the president, yes, is being scolded. Yes, the president of the United States, President Obama, is being scolded by the Supreme Court. What? He's being scolded by the Supreme Court because as a president, when it's passed in both houses, he's supposed to sign as president to let things go through. Well, now he's decided to take the party stance. So now it has become evidence this way he's being scolded that he is not acting as the president of the United States, but the head of the Democratic Party. Is that a newsflash, really? Oh, the scolding is the newsflash. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kem on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you know, Bill Rowley said so last night. Bill Rowley said there's no one that can speak intelligently on the side of, of, of standard marriage, and therefore the Republicans are out of the mainstream. Now, no, the Democrats and Bill O'Reilly are, they, if you listen carefully, the public supports civil unions, not marriage. There is a difference. What O'Reilly is pointing out, but basically they're going to toss... Bill O'Reilly is going to find out that he is on the wrong side of the Catholic Church he goes to on Sundays when he gets his butt thrown out of the church for supporting gay rights. Mm -hmm. He said, well, it doesn't make any difference one way or the other. And then he says the Republicans are, uh, have a weak message. Well, no, they have a message that basically um, that religion means nothing to Bill O'Reilly and people to support gay, uh, support gay marriage. You also can tell... Uh, okay, I heard last night one of the people in one of the newscasts said, I can tell who's gay in the news industry and who's not. And uh, if you're supporting gay marriage, you're gay, folks. It doesn't make, because you don't support gay marriage if you're a good church-going person. You will not find virtually any people that go to the Catholic Church on Sundays standing on a podium saying, I think that my son should have a right to marry his brother, which is what the Supreme Court now is questioning. If you allow this, how can you not allow you to marry members of your family, mm -hmm. uh, marry, uh, marry as many women or husbands as you want because you opened the floodgates and, they, got, and uh, they said, we have distinct laws in this country that says you can't. They said, well, they pointed out the fact, well, we had a law that says you couldn't marry out of your race. No, that was not, a, that was passed by a bunch of people that were rednecks. Mm -hmm. That was not passed by a majority of the people in this country, whereas what marriage is between a man and a woman has been passed by 38 out of the 40, 50 states, folks. Mm -hmm. The only states that's legal in the states where the Congress is what over the heads of the people. Mm -hmm. An Australian Prime Minister appoints new resources minister in reshuffle. I know because okay, what happens is is that they appointed a conservative to replace liberals that basically believed in global warming. So what, she, the, what the new prime minister is doing is replacing anybody in the cabinet that doesn't believe in global warming. They're basically well, we're doing all this damage to the to the uh, environment, and as soon as she calls an election, she's also gone. And mercy warning stirs fears in Egypt opposition. Uh, yeah, because what happens is he's, okay, by law, the Muslim Brotherhood is not allowed to hold elective office in Muslim countries, and the Muslim Brotherhood has been elected to run Egypt. Law prohibits them from being, and yet they're in operation because our president is supporting the guy, which basically, you know, if you were a Jew and you know the president is supporting an Ill uh, organization that is illegal in the entire Muslim world, Mm -hmm. You know that he's not going to support Israel. And study health overhaul to raise claims cost 32 percent. Yeah, that's the big deal. That if you thought you were paying too much before under Obamacare, you're going to be paying. Um, they said this morning, well, this is pure speculation that it's going to run 32 percent. And they asked Sebelius, well, what's it going to run? Well, it's going to cost you a little bit more than what you were paying before because we're going to be helping so many more people. It don't work out that way. If you didn't have insurance before, you're not going to have insurance tomorrow mm -hmm. because they're only going, like that they found in, in Massachusetts, where all they did was add like 4% more to the, to the insured rolls without, when they, they busted the state. You're only going to allow, you're only going to have a small percentage of people that will be able to get onto the forms because, well, first of all, you have to have an internet, you have to have a computer. You have to go on the internet, or you have to go to the government offices. You have to do this and do that to get the government program, and 
And while you'll be allowed into emergency rooms, you're only going to be given certain treatment now in emergency rooms if you don't have Obamacare. Oh, it's a real disaster. only certain kinds of That's right. And little help seen for millions priced out of health overhaul. Yeah, that's, um, that's what they were, they were talking about. They're really pissed. Uh, Democrats, this is not what was supposed to happen. This was not what we were promised. It, okay, Obama is going to universal health care. Universal health care is removing people that had insurance before are no longer going to have insurance tomorrow under mm -hmm. Obamacare. That is not how it was supposed to work. It never is, is yeah. it? Yeah, but it's at any time, okay, he would not, Obama basically is a socialist. He believes the answer to all problems is socialism. Well, universal health care has not worked in any country it's been done in, but I'm Obama. I can make it work because the people believe in me. Well, two out of every three people don't want Obamacare. They don't want it. And the more they hear about it, the less they want it. Voterama offers peek onto the Senate's ultimate wish list. Oh, I know. Basically, what happened was, was anything that Harry Reid did not want to be voted upon, Harry Reid... They got a thing, the, the, the um, head of the Senate, the president of the Senate, can decide, he has a personal choice. He can come on the floor of the Senate and say, you know, like, personal choice. Mm -hmm. And only those things can be added to the docket that day that he wants. So, uh, that he basically put nothing, he filled up the vote before the uh, budget vote of nothing but projects that he knew was either going to get totally killed by the Republicans or totally killed by the Democrats. Nothing, nothing that basically had a chance of passing. He only put things up that he knew couldn't pass. Mm -hmm. Be uh, so uh, they, that's, they said that he has done it more times himself since he got head of the Senate than all of the other uh, uh, presidents of the Senate have done in the last 50 years himself. It's 67 times this year. Or it's, it's, folks, it's March. He's done it 67 times already this year. And Obama, in the Middle East, plays relationship counselor. Yeah. You make a comp... Israel, you make compromises with the Muslims. Muslims, whatever the hell you want to do, I don't care. <laughs> and North Dakota comes closer to personhood amendment outlawing abortion. Well, basically it's unconstitutional. They, they, they totally... They made abortions illegal in it totally illegal in the state, uh, in that state, and that, you know, uh, you know, as soon as you, basically, all they have to do is testify, uh, for instance, if a woman basically finds out she's pregnant and wants to get the a pregnancy pill, all they have, but she can't get it until the doctor has done a test to see if there's a viable baby, and if the baby dies, well, so what, you got pregnant yesterday, I hear a heartbeat, mm -hmm. and then you have to go to court. But the problem is that the baby can't be aborted no matter what while you're doing a court battle. So ah. there can be no such, babies get, uh, so it's, it's not constitutional because the Supreme Court, the law of the land is Roe versus Wade and, the, and uh, North Dakota is trying to supersede that law with the, you know, uh, the instant we can, hear a, we can hear a noise by that baby, you can no longer abort it. So that doesn't work that way. And Obama withdraws Halligan nomination for DC Circuit Court. Yeah. That was one of his kiss butt environmentalists. Obama has not had a single appeals court judge appointed since he became president of the United States. He's not likely to get one because his appeals court justices would fill up, you know, what would happen is you'd have like the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeal. He thinks that that should be the, the who has had every single decision that they have. They said no court has more decisions overturned then the Ninth Court, he wants to turn all of the appeals courts across the United States to the three section United States like that, of which the Supreme Court will simply throw out any decision they make. What? Yeah. Well, he thinks that if I, I can bully the Supreme Court, well, he got a lecture from the Supreme Court. He needs Justice Kennedy, and Justice Kennedy gave Who's a lecture the gave this the lecture? morning about how you are you were voted to be a representative of the people of this nation. The Justice Department was is there to represent the people of this nation. They are not there to represent the Democratic Party and you basically cannot defend a law that the Congress of the United States has overwhelmingly passed and was signed and signed over signed by enthusiastically parties. by a president of the United States who happened to be a Democrat named William Jefferson Clinton. And more people have access to cell phones than toilets. Probably not. The, okay. I love how I have access. No, probably not. Mm -hmm. What they're doing is they say, well, okay, 
how many cell phone, how many smart devices do we have? Six. Mm -hmm. uh, what they do is they put okay. Say somebody has no device. Four people have no devices. They take your device and you move it over to the people that don't have access to cell phones and say, well, there's. You know, there's only three billion people on this planet, and there's five billion cell phones. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because people have multiple self-mark devices, folks. And we have to include this one, rodent enemy number one. Ohio prosecuting attorney indicts a Pux Puxatawney Phil. Yeah, well, because the weather sucks. <laughs> They, you know, and, and they're very serious. And that's the, the, okay, the groundhog. I mean, that's like... We're going to put it out this way. Democrats believe things. Republicans don't believe in zombies. Republicans don't believe in Poxitoni Phil. Republicans don't think <laughs> movies are real. Democrats all think that's real. I mean, I, they indicted a groundhog. I mean, I used to, <laughs> I used to get okay. I'm dry, I'm riding around in a four-wheel drive truck in a 1940s western, and uh, uh, years later, um, uh, Teddy Kennedy, who I know, he said that you know. You know, uh, you know, you can't be doing that because it's such a bad example of, you know, um, it's not real. It's a cow it's a cowboy movie set in the West and you got a four-wheel drive World War II truck you're riding around in. Well, people believe that that's real. Mm. No, only you believe it's real. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, yeah, well, it's a good one. That, um, that politicians seem to forget that they're elected to represent the people, not the political parties that put them in office. <laughs>